Welcome back to the workshop, everybody. So glad you could be with me here today. Yeah, so I'm sitting here at the Tormek today. A uh, good friend of mine, Cat, out in California, wanted a hawk blade for her 60 and a half Lee Nielsen. And she wanted it to be as close to precisely 25 degrees as possible. So, I'm going to show you how I sharpen a hawk blade on the Tormek. The Tormek is a water-cooled grinder. Some people call it a hone, some people call it a sharpener. But uh, you have a reservoir here filled with water and I can watch that as the water level goes down I can add water to it. Once the stone picks up a good amount of water it doesn't go down too much but when you leave it dry for a few days it's going to pick up quite a bit of water. You should never leave your stone sit in water. Okay, you should always drain it after each use. So, I've already tested the bevel and we need to take a little bit more off the heel. So the nice thing about the Tormek is you have a micro adjuster. There's a micro adjuster on there. So I can lower that a little bit. And then take just a little more off the heel. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on here. And I am moving it back and forth so that the stone wears evenly. So you see the difference there? It took a little bit more off the heel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to proceed to sharpen this all the way so that we can test to see what the angle is. We want to get it 25 degrees or less. Now I've been wanting to get one of the Japanese stones for the Tormek. Because that would be like sharpening on a 4,000 grit. They were proceeding along very well. I don't know if you can see that. Proceeding along very well. Got about another eighth inch to sixteenth inch on this. Yeah, the uh, Japanese stone, you could go right from there to a strop and you'd be good to go. Now Tormek, one of their selling features is the fact that your tools are task ready once you're done sharpening. And they're right. They are absolutely correct. See, we're almost done. It goes that fast. Starting to feel a burr back there, not so much on this side. Almost done. So that the tools are task ready once they come off the sharpening stone. Well, some of us know that you can go to a much higher level of sharpening. The sky is the limit, but they're right. I can take this blade right off of here, give it a light stropping either on the stropping wheel or on a leather strop, and it'll be ready. Okay, so I've got a burr right now 
all the way across the back. I want to check the angle. So I'm using this angle gauge. And I go in the 25 and I hold it up to the light. You won't see me doing this, okay? But I'm holding it up to the light and I could probably take a little more. It's not 30. And it's not 22. So it's pretty close to 25. I'm going to take it down a little lower because she said 25 degrees or less. Okay, so let's see. I took it down one full turn. That should be hitting the heel now again. Can you see that? How it's hitting a little bit on the heel. We'll take it down just a little bit more and then we'll finish this off and then that's done. It's a very efficient tool. There's no dust. You do have to deal with water. You will have to deal with rust if you don't take the moisture off your tools. And you must dump your water after each use. Or you run the risk of rust staining your stone. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but there's just a little tiny bit left at the tip. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. And I don't put much pressure on it, just finger pressure. I'm sitting down in front of this. I'm not putting any upper body strength on it whatsoever. That's it. That's done. Let's see what the angle's like. That almost sits perfect in the 25. It's loose in the 22 and it's loose in the 30. Look up at the light. Cat, I don't know how I could get it too much closer with the tools that I had used. <laughs> Now, what some people do next is they take the tool holder and they move it over to the strop side. Never fear, cat. I'm going to hone your blade. But they just take it to the strop side. Can you see that? And they just Touch up the front edge on the strop that has some 6,000 grit compound on it. Can you see that? I don't know if you can. Let's see. You see there's a little fine line in the front there. So, for all intents and purposes, this is sharp, ready to go to work. And that's all it took. So what I'm going to do next is I'll take this in on my honing stones and I will double check the back for flatness. I will put a light micro bevel just to follow up on that stropping and I will send this back to California on Tuesday. 
That's all. That's all it takes. Sharpening a Ron Hawk blade made for Lee Nielsen 60 and a half block planes on the Tormek. See, Tormek has another nice feature. They have a knob back here. I can turn it down. And you see the water trough goes down. So now it can't get any water and it can dry out. So there you go. Hope this was helpful to somebody. If you have the space and the budget and the need for a Tormek system, write me. I'm a Tormek dealer. I can help you with that. But, uh, yeah. If you don't, maybe you can find somebody near you that does have a Tormek and you can tie in with them and sharpen your tools at their shop, give them a few bucks each time you go over there, have dinner with them, have a sandwich, have coffee, spend time with another woodworker. Hey, head out to your shop, sharpen your tools. Walter out.